I have my family here in Edmonton with me, so uh, every time I leave this facility, I get to go to home to them. And uh, man, I, I can't complain, man. Uh, just looking to, uh, to win some more games. What does it mean to you to go up against your former team, uh, where you've won two Grey Cups and, and got your real start in this league? Yeah, man, it's a, it, mean, it means a lot. It means a lot. It's going to be a uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for my for uh, for my team and uh, myself. Uh, and uh, man, it's gonna it's gonna be um, it's gonna be different being on the you know different side of the of the ball instead of being in blue and gold. But um, and I, I'm a I'm a uh, cherish every moment of it. You know, I'm a, I'm gonna go out there talk to the guys. You know, try to try to hit them. Finally get to hit them. You know, you know what I mean. Get to make plays on the defense. You know, so it's it's, it's gonna be fun, man. I, I this has definitely been uh, it's been. The uh, the highlighted game that uh, for me that I've highlighted this season and uh, I just can't wait to get out there. And I, I asked Sergio kind of the same question. What you know? Did you discuss staying with the Bombers? Was there an offer on the table? Was there anything um, that it seemed like you might stay there? You know, there was a there was a small offer on the table, um, but um, you know, um, I I felt like. Uh, in the time that I am in my career, with my age and my youth, and um, you know, um, I got to maximize as much as I I can, and um, I believe I accomplished that this off season by uh, getting you know uh, that uh, dollar amount signed. But um, you know, um, yeah, it wasn't um, there wasn't really much talks about it. They knew that they didn't they weren't gonna have the market for me, and um, I believed uh, you know that they were. More so, um, you know, keeping more guys around than, you know, just having me there. And then, you know, I understand it's a business and, um, you know, it uh, it is what it is. You don't feel slighted by that at all? Slighted? Um, um, as in? Well, as in offended that they didn't want to give you more. Oh, no, you know, like I said, it's a business. You know, they had to do what they had to do, you know, for their business to, you know, grow and keep, you know, doing what they do. And, uh, you know, I had to do what I do. You know, I had to do what I had to do. I could have took 175, but, you know, instead I took 300. And, um, you know, it's, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, just one more, guys, and let someone else talk. But uh, do you feel pressure because you did take that big number and you're here and trying to, you know, make Man. a lot happen? Yeah, no, um, there's, there's definitely pressure on my shoulders. Um, you know, um, I have to come in and perform each week. Um, that's what they pay me to do. So, you know, that's what I got to give them. Um, but uh, man, um, you know, I just kind of, I just try to, try to take that pressure and make diamonds with it, man. That's what I've been trying to do here this whole time. Just, you know, bring championship or uh, championship culture into this organization. You know, just, um, just bring a certain type of mentality. Just uh, bring just what it takes and what it means to win and uh, win with your teammates. That's you know, that's. Uh, more of the pressure I have on my shoulders than making plays because I believe I can make plays with the best of them. Um, that's what I do. That's what I've been doing. And uh, my uh, the pressure has come to to be able to be a great leader. What's the feeling, Kenny, when you earn a contract, the highest non-quarterback contract, when you go out and you earn that? Um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, definitely earned, um, and it's a definitely accomplishment to be uh, you know. Um, appreciated to receive so much, you know, so much, um, so much money. But um, man, um, yeah, that's because that's, that's, that's your money. hard work, and that's your, that's. I mean, that's what we're, like, you guys are all here to do. Yeah, you know, that's what that's what that's what I'm here to do, you know, and everything. But um, you know, um, you know, uh, I let I let my agent deal with that side of it, and you know, just based off, you know, my play on this football field, um, you know. Some guys that had a lot of money um, uh, were able to see that you know I was worth a certain value, and uh, you know it was there. So yeah, it was a it was a lot of hard work to my agent as well. Man. So <laughs> he or she got paid for it. I, I yes, know. sir. He. Uh, I want to get you on board with this. Uh, pass interference calls. That's a receiver stat, right? When you draw three pass interference calls, that should be a receiver stat. It should, man. Uh, any more than three, you know, you should start getting them yards. But you know, it's all good, man. Um, because, you know, if we get an offensive P.I., and yeah, now how's that going to look? And is that going to come back on us? And we don't want them yards taken away. But, um, 
you know, it, it is what it is, man. Um, you know, when that ball's thrown up in the air, it's, you know, you have to play cleanly. You know, the rest know that. The guy defending me knows that. And, uh, you know, it's up to him to, you know, play the ball and play the defender or the receiver as clean as possible. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do that last week, uh, which uh, were some uh, critical mistakes that uh, happened to them. But, man, uh, I take uh, I was uh, I was taught that from Winnipeg, man. When the ball's in the air, it's either a catch or um, catch or um, a PI, and uh, you know, um, it was a PI. Some were catches, um, all that. Yards are yards. Yards are yards, and a win is a win. How, how would you assess uh, your performance so far this season? Where do you feel you're at? Um, you know, um, I'm a I'm a very uh, hard uh, a hard critic on myself. Um, you know, I know I could play a lot better. Um, there's been games where, you know, the stat line didn't, um, didn't, uh, uh, so, uh, so very good on my end, but you know, I don't, I don't really, I don't really, um, look at that stuff. Yeah. You know, um, it's highlighted week in and week out. Um, as long as I control what I can control, I know, um, I know everything's going to happen or good around me. Um, so, you know, I just go in every day just trying to just, you know, basically control what I control. If the ball gets thrown my way, uh, let's try to make it, let's try to get a catch for the guys. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to my play, I, 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 if I was to grade myself, I'd give myself a C plus. C plus. Not to, not to dwell on the, the offseason or anything, but when you're making headlines, if you see this throwing you money, I'm just curious what, you know, if there were conversations or if there was just betting on yourself that you didn't take any guaranteed money and you waited to get here. You know how this league works. You know, a lot of things can yeah. happen. When you're Who said I ain't getting no guaranteed money? Well I, well, I knew you had the signing, the sign a report. But did you get anything in the offseason or is that just bad information? I'm going to just smile on that one. Okay, let's smile on that one. All right, well, let's smile on this one then. Um, <laughs> hey, I don't you know. know. I remember you two or three years ago. Yes, sir. You know, you were still learning almost how to be a pro on yeah. the practice roster. You know? Mm -hmm. and you, you know, I remember guys were building you up and making sure that you were you remain focused. Can you reflect now as the number one you know, the number one receiver, the highest paid receiver now over that stretch of time. What was the biggest difference in yourself do you think in those uh, in myself, man, um the maturity. The maturity. I came in uh here a young guy, um, thinking I knew everything, you know. I came in here um, you know, not really appreciating the game, just looking at it as just a stepping stone to get back to, you know, the the NFL. And um, when I really got here, you know, I didn't really um, respect the game as much. Um, and um, that has been probably the biggest change, in, uh, change, change within myself. Um, the respect level that I, you know, come with with everybody in the, um, everyone in the, uh, the organization, all the CFL workers, just, you know, just because this is a great game. Um, not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of Americans know that. And um, man, it was just, um, when, when I came here, you know, I was just a young guy, just you know, just trying to get back to the NFL. I'll talk my, I'll talk my talk, you know, and everything. But uh, just, uh, just looking back on it now, it's just like, and um, I'm blessed to be able to still be able to be playing football. Um, man, I'm grateful, and you know, um, this uh, the CFL, this Canadian football uh, league, has just or done so so much for me in a small amount of a uh, amount of a. Uh, part of my life so um, man um, that's one thing I say the maturity level the maturity level within myself has uh, has grown a lot last one for me. You know, I'm sure you'd, you'd be a target for any quarterback and I'm sure you catch balls from any quarterback but kind of a, it's been week to week almost with this team I need mm -hmm. to be behind center and just wondering how that's I don't know, affected you or just you feel like overall the team is having a new quarterback um, yeah man uh, every time you know you know uh, we get in, you know, possible with a new quarterback and everything. But um, I try not to let it affect me. Um, I try not to, you know, to dwell on it just because I know all these guys are capable of coming out here and producing. Um, I've done training camp with these guys. Um, and, you know, I see the work that they put in. I see the preparation that they put in. Uh, I see that they love this game. They love the people in this locker room. So, you know, that just makes me confident week in and week out that I know, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get their best. And you know, that's all I could that's all I could ask for. You know, I don't wanna pressure them into, you know, 
having a, a good receiver that you have to throw me the ball, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I want to be available for them so I can make the things easier for them so that, you know, they can be able to grow within their game. Because, um, you know, some of these, some of these guys are young, man, and uh, they haven't been in the, in the, in the league for the amounts of time as, you know, Zach Calero. So, you know, um, you know, the Trevor Harris's or the, the older, older quarterbacks that are in the league. But, you know, these guys are just as good as them. And, you know, it's, um, uh, so the football is a mental game, and, you know, they're, 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 well, as long as they keep, you know, you know, uh, developing that mental game, I believe that they're, that the sky's the limit for uh, all the quarterbacks in the, um, in the, um, um, sorry, you know the Winnipeg defense better than most. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you feel you guys got to do on Friday to you know, be successful against Um, we have to, we have to match, you know, their physicality, I believe. Um, the, that team is a very physical team, offense and defense and special teams. So, you know, as long as we be able to match their physicality, I believe we give ourselves the best, the best uh, chance to win. And also, you know, we got to come out and execute. But, um, you know, if they see that they're back, if we're backing down by every hit that they give, if we're not trying to hit them back, you know, that's when I know when, um, when I was with them, that's when I knew we had people, you know, that we got them, you know. Oh, these guys are front runners. So, you know, we gotta be able to be able to we gotta be able to hit them in the mouth just when you know, just when they're they're hitting us in the mouth. And it's gonna be a hard fought physical game, but um that's what we knew. We, we knew that when we signed up to play football. We knew that when uh, you know, we see that we got the uh, Winnipeg on the on the schedule. Eighty eight, is that a reminder that they owe you one or what? Eighty eight? Um nah this is actually um <laughs> this is actually um one of my um uh, you know one of my uh comrades that uh, uh didn't make it on the team uh last year uh this year. So, you know, I just uh, wear this and uh, you know, memory of him, uh Jalen Tolliver. And uh, I know he's uh doing uh, great things and uh, off the cops doing great things with him and his family. So yeah, that's that's what that is. Thanks a lot, Kenny. Hey, no, no, no. Good to see you again. Hey, it was a great time seeing you. No problem, no problem.